In this video clip, if I change it to mass flow, now I can set the flow that I actually want going out of each of the streams. So if I set PO1, let's leave that at 0 kilograms per hour. Let's say we want 80 kilograms per hour from PO2, 10 from PO3, and let's ask for PO4 more than what we can get. So let's say 50 kilograms per hour. Now we know we only have 100 kilograms coming in, so we know we're not going to be able to satisfy that. Let's see what happens. So if I push 1, we'll see that we got 0 to PO1, 80 to PO2, so we've satisfied that. PO3 has got 10, but all that's left is 10 for PO4. And you see here we've got an error, QM error, of minus 40. So it's tried to give it 50, and it's got an error of minus 40. Plus you can see the product splitter itself has gone orange, which is indicating that there is a warning there. And we'll see up here, we've got one warning. If I click on that messages button, and I go to the solver conditions, you'll see the product split, GM requirements not met in one stream. So that's what Syscape will always do if it cannot meet your split requirements. So if I change that back down, let's say just to five, which we know we can satisfy, and we say, okay, and now I solve, you'll see that error has gone away. It's no longer orange. I have no errors up there. And we've got five, and the remaining five goes out of P005. I hope that's helped you in seeing how you can set up a general model.